These damn market makers are insane, guys. We're going to talk about really if XYZ happens by the end of the day, what is coming next? Really what I'm looking forward to and, and, and kind of what I expect to happen. Now, obviously, we have AMC earnings here in After Hours. That's going to steal the show for a large part, and I'm going to make a whole video diving into exactly what was said, you know, what it means for the stock and the squeeze and all of that good stuff. But this is not going to be that that video necessarily. Um, we, we're really seeing a controlled sell-off here in the markets. You're really seeing the market makers that are winning. Honestly, the market makers are the only ones that are really winning here in this here in this market, right? The stock market has been trending down, but it really has not done all too much on a, a multi-day period, right? It's been very, very volatile. Today was actually a decent size gap down and we're down quite dramatically, but we're still not flushing down that much. We're really fighting with $400 on the S&P and quite honestly, it's possible here, maybe by the time you guys see this video, that the market's run dramatically higher. It would not surprise me to close above 405 by the end of the day. That's why we need to talk about kind of what to expect if if any of these scenarios play out. If we close under 400, then that's a really bad situation. That is really, really bad. That means that we are not seeing this whole buy the dip activity towards the end of the day like we tend to see, right? Look right here. You know, this was a whole buy the dip moment. You, you instantly came down dramatically from about 425 down to 417 and then back up to about 430 by the end of the day. This day, we did not see a bounce. And then that proceeded to follow with another sell off the following day. And then we bounced at the end of the day, right? Even this day, very volatile moves up and down, up and down, up and down. And then a rally to pretty much come back to neutral on the day. Right by the end of the day, obviously, Fed meeting right here again, bounce really hard at the end of the day. Another very strong bounce by the end of the day as well. Not quite obviously giving us back what we lost the day after the Fed, but still a decent sized bounce the last hour of trading. And even yesterday, another decent sized bounce by the end of the day. So if we do not see a bounce by the end of the day today, if we see a sell-off into the close, we could hit as low as about three, uh, 397, 395. That could be on the, the table. And if you close under 400, the market makers are going to freak out. They're going to freak out because you have a gap to fill down here to about 380. And we'll go ahead and mark that. That's where a lot of people are even calling for the S&P to go. Now, I don't know if I'm really in that camp that we're going to go straight to 380 from here. I think if the CPI report on Wednesday is bad, that is most certainly a possibility. But even all of these intraday levels that I have had drawn, you're almost at the bottom of all of those levels. If you break under 400, that is the last level. That is it. That is it. Like th there's, there's no level that is more important to that than that. In my opinion, like 395, 390, like that's not going to give us a bounce. That's that's not going to be a solid level of support. Uh, good thing is we are staying around 400. So it could go either way, basically what I'm trying to say. But if you close under four, 400, then uh, get ready for about 380 on the S&P. That would be another move down of about 10%, maybe a little bit more than that. And the Nasdaq is already down 25% on the year. Bonds, 20-year treasuries are down 21%. S&P is down about 16.17% year to date. So uh, not a good situation. Now, I will say, if you guys have not seen my last video, what is bullish actually for today is that bond yields are coming down. And this is really a rotation more than an actual sell-off, right? The Dow Jones is only down 1.61% today. So still pretty damn red. But the Russell 2000 is down 4%. NASDAQ down 4%. S&P down almost 3%. Whereas consumer staples are actually doing very well today. And surprisingly, those are the stocks with very high valuations, price to earnings rate, multiples, in the 20s to 30s, whereas you have something like, uh, I'm just going to pick on Facebook here, a 13 PE ratio. Would you rather buy 
and I don't like Facebook at all. But would you rather buy Facebook or Netflix at a 13 to 15 PE price to earnings uh, ratio? Or would you rather buy something like a Clorox with a 32 price to earnings ratio? Those are the kind of stocks that are actually getting bought right now. And I don't think there's a lot of actual people that are selling right now. I think it's all algorithms. They're literally ping-ponging these trades off of each other, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I think there is a lot of orders at $400 on the S&P. So that's going to be a key level. If we do close above 400, specifically close above 405, which I think is going to be relatively hard to do here in the last hour, 20 minutes. But I do think it could be possible. If that's the case, then it is uh, likely in my personal opinion that you could see a rally this week. As you guys do know, we have about four Fed speakers uh, that speak tomorrow morning. And then you also have one, one Fed speaker out of the four that speaks twice. So depending on what they say, that will also be very, very important. Now, on the other hand of that, <coughs> excuse me, you had some really bad economic data uh, that came out for Europe, as well as obviously the bankers, they're, they're not optimistic about the economy, right? That's not good. You also have Saudi Arabia that lowered energy cost for Asia, which is not bullish for energy. That's why energy and oil is down quite dramatically today. A lot of energy uh, stocks, right? A lot of energy uh, companies are down a lot. Look at natural gas down 12.45%. Brent, Brent crude down 5.58%. Oil down almost 6%. So, uh, that's definitely not helping. Without oil stocks holding up, it, it definitely makes the markets a little bit more shaky uh, than not. And that's kind of what is playing into all of this. Now, at the same time, you're at a key level when all of this is happening. Then you had Russia with Victory Day and then talking about war with NATO, obviously something the markets do not want to hear about. It, it's, it's, it's a recipe for a, potentially a lot of pain in the markets. Or... A big ass bounce so that's kind of my thoughts I, I i just really wanted to talk to you guys about what we're seeing here right now this is a market maker controlled sell-off there's there's this is textbook people are talking about it it's it's very obvious at this point i don't really think people are physically selling out of stocks that are down you know 60 70 80 percent unless they are getting margin called and they have no choice to do so right so keep that in mind. Short interest of free float, 19.51%. Current shares that are sold short of 100.59 million. Cost bar max of 3.3%. Utilization of 100% days to cover sitting at 2.69. So not too much has actually changed here on the day, but still a lot of shorting activity that is still happening. Now you can see some interesting trades coming through. June 17, $22 calls coming through for about $26,000 for AMC. Obviously going to be here in after hours. That looks like an earnings trade if I have ever seen one in my whole entire life and man oh my gosh the suspense is ridiculous if we do not see a big rally guys by the end of the day just forget it just forget it okay that's it that's that's all i have that's all i have thank you market makers for your your pain that you are causing us investors <laughs> You guys enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back to talk about earnings later on. Come join us on the live stream. We'll have a lot to talk about in, in regards to all of this earnings, just everything you guys need to know. So thank you for watching. If you guys want to come trade with us live in real time, link down below in the pinned comment. I will see you in the next one.